Good evening, I'm at Mint Internet of Things conference and I'm talking to Abhinav Verma who is the co-founder of Live Braille, an interesting startup in the space of disabled people. So Abhinav, thanks for joining. Can you give me a little bit of an understanding of what Live Braille is all about? Live Braille is basically a device for the visually challenged. It's uh, the first fully wearable device. So the person could, uh, th this is the device, so the person could simply open it up and put it on his two fingers. And the moment he straps it on, it provides a haptic feedback, which is basically a vibration feedback. So if I'm wearing this device and I'm walking in an open area, if there is some obstacle in front of me, there is a vibration. And depending on the distance of the obstacle, the vibration varies. So if there is something far away, the vibration will be less. And if something comes closer, the vibration will simply increase. That's the basic idea. So can I just use that and see how it feels? Yes, sure. It's currently out of battery. That's, that's the device and it can be worn on the fingers where you can feel the vibration. So I'm assuming this is what... Connected. These are sensors. These are sensors that actually detect that there's an object close or further away. So. I think I have a question, you know, usually when you have a cane, you're able to detect objects closer to you when you're able to maneuver your way through. How would it happen if somebody's just using the sensors? How does it work? Right, I'll explain that. So what happens is that there are two kind of obstacles. One is above the knee obstacles and one are below the knee obstacles. So usually for below the knee obstacles, there has been no device, which is actually very effective. So people use canes for that. So what this does is, for so for example, a visually challenge is staying in an institute and he, is, uh, he just goes to his classes, he goes to the canteen. For that, he doesn't need to carry cane. In fact, we have been visiting institutes for one year and we've never found blind people actually carrying canes. They never carry canes. In fact, because it's heavy, it's difficult to move around with that and it, it obstructs their motion. So this device uh, is very intuitive for them because once they wear it, if there is some person in front of me, I'll simply be reminded by a simple haptic feedback, vibration, buzz in this. So I know something is far and if something is little far, I can keep on walking. When I get close, I just move my hand like this and I find, oh, there's a space over here and I start walking this side. Where did the idea for this come from? We soon realized that in India, what we need is a device which is cheap and does that job, just does the job. So we did a lot of reviews, we went to a lot of institutes, means one year of R&D followed, one year of just traveling and meeting blinds and asking them what do you want? Because that is the important thing because there are 15 million people in India who are blind and we need to know that what they want instead of making a very sophisticated device which just, just doesn't find use for them. So we realized that they need a cheap device that can help them out with moving obstacles. So that's what we did. We uh, we did uh, we started working on different prototypes, different models. We went and we actually experienced the smart cane, which is developed by Indian students, which is quite heavy, and uh, they they never use it. Recently, they were given it for free actually, and they still don't use it because they say it's it's heavy. In this small area, who will carry a heavy cane? So, what were some of the challenges you faced in taking this and moving it from just an idea to actually a business? Yes, now so the biggest challenge that we faced is the cost because visually challenged don't make money out of any job etc. So biggest challenge was to make a device which is cheap yet robust, reliable and does the job. So initially we realized that in other countries like we went to France and we found the canes to be like beyond a lakh for a uh, cane. But in India when we did the survey they usually get they can afford 1000 rupee device or 2000 rupees device which is which is a big challenge now but still it is a great business because if you are selling a 2000 rupee device and there are 15 million of them it could be a brilliant business so it took us about four months to actually make something which fits in that bracket and still provides that output what is the kind of feedback you're getting from the market having taken this to the market We've actually taken it to a lot of institutes in India, uh, from New Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, all places, and we're getting amazing feedback. In fact, uh, I usually get phone calls from kids in my area because I'm in Chandigarh, and there is a good institute over there. There are about 200 blinds over there. And I usually get phone calls, if you're free, please come and give me this device, because they love to use this, because it's a handy device. Imagine uh, you can see and you just get an ability. You're not carrying anything. Your, hands, your hand gets an added ability to see. So we, we are talking to government officials. We got a very good response from NIBH, which is the National Institute for the Visually Handicapped. And we got, in, uh, in fact, we met uh, the chief commissioner for the different, different disabled. He is uh, PK Penchai, he's himself blind. So he loved the device and he directly referred us to the ministry. So people are loving it and uh, we now plan to take it forward in the market.